Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Like, I want to say thank you so much, God, first of all. Hey, first of all, I want to say Alhamdulillah. God gave me everything. Alhamdulillah. I know you got this. They don't like this. Alhamdulillah. First of all, I want to say Alhamdulillah. You know, I'm sure you will appreciate when you can connect it to something you're familiar with. And the winner by submission, you know, Kamora, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. Now let's start off with what he's doing here. This is not just particular to him. You'll see many people who want to keep it humble and who are thankful and grateful. They point up pointing up to the one up above, up above the creation, up above the heavens and the universe, the one who created this whole universe, the galaxies, the seven seas, everything in this world. Isn't he not worthy of all praise and thanks? And that's what he's doing because people become very arrogant. And this is something we have to be very, very careful of. And we can all take a lesson from this to keep it humble, to keep it humble. You cannot go wrong with keeping it humble. Arrogance will get you lost. We'll lose you friends. Who likes to be around arrogant people? And at the end, failure. Failure at the end. Why is he putting his face on the ground? What's he doing? Kissing the ground? But let me connect it because the point was if I can, if we can connect it to something that you are familiar with, someone who you're per familiar with, you're probably going to appreciate it a lot more. You might even start doing it. And if something works, if it's going to help improve your life, why not? Give it a try. And check this out. You know Jesus. We know Jesus. I mean, did you know Muslims love Jesus? There's this fighter here. If anyone knows who he is, he's wearing, a, he's, he's another mixed martial arts fighter. He's got a, he's got a shirt on talking about how Muslims love Jesus. Did you know that? So if you're a Khabib, Khabib fan, you've learned something already. And you'll see that Muslims, they have a deep reverence and love for Jesus as a mighty messenger who was sent. Just like Abraham, Noah, and all the other messengers, calling people to connect with the one who gave us these abilities, these gifts in life. Like Khabib was given. Some a very talented athlete, and, and, and he's acknowledging that this is from the Creator. And now, again, he's taking it a step further. And just like Jesus, and we're related to someone, you know Jesus, in the Gospel of Matthew 26, 39, it says that he went and he went a little further and he fell on his face and prayed to God. Isn't that amazing? This is something that Habib doing, not only him, but Muslims, 1.7 billion human beings, and Muslim is simply one who surrenders, who submits himself, not to a man, not to a woman, not to money, not to fame, not to anything or anyone, but to the Creator up above. Isn't that beautiful? If you learned something already, he's doing what all the prophets of God did. So it shouldn't be next time you see him do that, next time you're a fan of Khabib and you see, you see him fighting at the end, and if he wins, God willing, and he prostrate, he puts his head on the floor, you can connect it. Now you watch this, you say, oh, he's doing what Jesus did. He's giving praise and thanks, keeping it humble. Excuse me, guys. Alhamdulillah. Now let's move on to the next thing. What he said, he says some, some words now. Sometimes when we hear something in another language, we can't appreciate it. Excuse me, guys. Alhamdulillah, I want to say something. He says, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. What does that mean? Why is he saying something in another language, in Arabic? Now, I want to connect this again back to the one I'm sure many Christians who love Jesus, people who aren't even maybe Christian, but they heard Jesus, they have, they have a connection to him. Do you know that Jesus, he called on the Creator. If you ever watched The, the Passion of Christ. I'll take how long. Allah. In Arabic, it's just Allah. This is the Creator we're talking about. And He is saying, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Everything God gave me. 
God. So again, he's keeping it humble. If anything we could take away from this video is, is, is that quality of keeping it humble. We got too much. We're all susceptible to it. Ego, the ego can take over and you become very arrogant. Who likes to be around arrogant people? Keeping it humble. Again, he's saying Alhamdulillah. It's just like saying thank you, God. Everything God gave me. Very simple. Now, you can appreciate, can you appreciate that? 